Hey, puss puss. Are you sitting down? Is that what you're doing? Or can I? Can I sit down? Oh. Yeah, you want to be on the film too. So I see. Uh huh. Welcome to the Open Hand Shift Diaries, a viewpoint on the planetary shift of consciousness. And for this one, I thought we'd talk about coming from core beingness and what that means. A deep sense, a deep state of core beingness. And what then is your orientation in life? It's been something we've been practicing, applying, and working with on the retreat that we've been having here in the new year, here at the wonderful Aurora Retreat Center on La Palma, and plenty of people joining us from a virtual retreat too. So we've had lots of deep explorations and inquiries. <laughs> and I'm even joined by Mr. Tibbs, who's feeling very affectionate and expressing his beingness. So what is this? What is this all about? And also, why is it so important in the shift? Why is orientation of beingness crucial? Because you know, you hear about so many things, so many stories and viewpoints about what the shift will entail. And we may have some good insights, yes. You can already see how things are beginning to unfold in the world out there through climate change, through the destruction of our environment, which is taking place. And people are having tremendous breakthroughs as well. And, and consciousness is emerging. And people are beginning to re-experience their multidimensionality. How they can be in two places simultaneously. Okay, this kind of thing. And expanding into higher dimensions. So, so there's a lot of talk about this. A lot of experience with that and but it's and it's easy it would be easy to get pulled out of what is really essential and crucial for you as a being to be distracted from where everything emerges from where your authenticity emerges from and where you express out into the world in alignment with the flow and really this all comes from co deep core beingness, a deep sense of peace and presence. And you're softening through the physical, the mental, the emotional. You're softening through all of this density. And, and you're touching this place internally of infinite potential. And it feels like stillness and peace and harmony and joy too and that can become the background canvas upon which then life is painted and experienced and really i would i would reflect to you that that is the place to come from the orientation to find in the shift the question is, how do you find it? Well, there are many practices, of course. At Open Hand, we use particular breathing techniques, the breakthrough breathing, which is essentially inhaling up, holding, and relaxing the body all the way down, and then letting the breath come through the body until that becomes totally natural. And then you're just observing, witnessing, through the dynamic and softening, surrendering all the time. And that will help you start to touch the sense of peace and, and deep core being inside. So, so deep breathing, obviously, and the kinds of meditation practices you may well have come across. Lying in the sun, connecting with nature, that can, that can really help too, of course. Deep connection with nature. Doing those things that bring you joy. Yes. <laughs> but 
But also there's another crucial part to that. And that is being the observer of yourself in it. Because if it's just a transient experience that you're not attuning to, then it can be easily lost in the drama outside. So, so having the experience, but also being aware of the experience, observing, witnessing the experience, and attuning to, do, to that, and attuning to it regularly, ideally throughout the day. And certainly in the morning when you wake up, the first thing I would suggest is to breathe, notice, feel, and keep opening, keep exploring till you start to touch that sense of deep peace within. And if you're not feeling that, if it's difficult to get to that, whether well, you need some kind of practice to open through whatever is blocking, whatever is resisting that. And a good way of approaching that is to begin to notice, locate tightness somewhere in your body-mind field. It could be in the head, around the third eye, forehead, it could be in the heart, it could be in the sacrum or the solar plexus, it could be anywhere in the body, a sense of tightness which is resisting and holding you back from that deep sense of surrender and peace. So, so if you can't find the peace, look for the tightness. Because the tightness represents a doorway, of opportunity of possibility to break through. If you locate the tightness, then explore deep into it and feel as much as you can into that contraction. And as you feel into the contraction, then begin to express the contraction. What does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it sound like? You could make a sound into it. Does it have a smell? If it's a color, what kind of color is it? Is it organic? Is it metallic? You get a metaphoric sense of what the blockage, the density looks like and, and feels, sounds, expresses like. And then, you, and then you allow yourself to make those expressions. Now what this does is it brings you closer to the contraction. It brings you into the tightness, into the density. You become as one with it. And when you become as one with it, you can become increasingly intimate with it. When you're intimate with it, it brings deep awareness through it. And then softness and then acceptance and acceptance to the degree that you don't need it to go away. And when you don't need it to go away, and you're really intimate with it, paradoxically, you're already starting to break through. It's like then you can open a doorway through the tightness into a sense of space and openness. So if you struggle to touch the expansiveness, then locate the tightness instead and begin to work into and through that using what we would call, suggest, the breakthrough approach. So this is going to help you break through into this deep sense of peace over time. It might not necessarily come immediately and it can come and go in the beginning. But you'll start to touch something which is beyond the physical, beyond the mental, emotional, a deep sense of belonging, of being a home, of being in your core essence. It's right back at the source inside of you. And this is really the key orientation, the crucial orientation. Even when you've been bitten, <laughs> it's, it's important. <laughs> it's important to come from that place, right? Important to come from that place. So you're, so you're opening out into the presence, into the softness, into the, the, the openness, right? And, and working to have a, a good part of your attention on that as you, as you mediate through life. Now you're going to be challenged, of course. You're going to be faced with challenges as you progress through life because it's not all going to be plain sailing. 
And especially as you touch presence, you're touching infinite potential. And from infinite potential, the soul is going to arise. Now, the soul is your unique expression of this core authentic beingness. And it's going to want to express, providing no one here and identity is resisting that. It's going to want to express. It's going to flow into life. It's going to create life. It's going to create situations, circumstances, relationships, jobs, careers. It's going to create life from, from that experience if you allow it. And, and the soul is going to get stuck from time to time. It's going to get, you know, where you might hit some kind of internal uh, judgment, worthlessness, guilt, uh, blame, uh, feeling of victimization, all of these kinds of things. The soul may hit that, that layer inside. And as you confront that layer, that expresses and creates in the outer. And so you draw the circumstances that make you feel that layer. Now you can either turn away from that, which is to deny it, which is what really society does to placate the pain, which only really piles more layers on top and avoids the, the true source of it and crucially stops you from being in the deep core presence. So, so the soul is going to emerge, it's going to hit blockages, and it's important then to honor, com confront and honor those so as to work through them. It's going to do that in life, in your relationships. You're going to close down at times. You might get angry, frustrated. You might be depressed at the location that you're in or the situation or the work. All right. It's important to honor, express, and, and when you hit this tightness, turn into it immediately. If, and if you can't do it immediately, then afterwards, later on, regress back into the situations, back into the circumstances, see the images, but above all, feel the feelings inside. What does that feel like? Why is it making me feel that way? What outcome did I want or need from that situation or think I did? What could I not accept? And then work honestly into the attachment, express the attachment until you can let it go. Then you come back into, you can start coming back into that sense of core beingness once more and that crucial orientation. So for me, in any given circumstance within the shift, it's fundamental to be looking for and coming from your core authentic beingness, that deep sense of divine connection. Because as, as the shift unfolds, especially now, you're going to see countless mirrors coming your way as reality starts to bend and unfold and unwind as we progress forwards. It's going to present countless mirrors, countless contractions, and therefore countless opportunities to expand out and break through, unleash soul through. But unless we're coming from core being, then the chances are that you're going to keep getting stuck in the waves and the eddy currents and the dramas that will likely unfold. So my encouragement to all is to work, to touch, to access, to deepen into your core sense of divine beingness. Get to know what that's like. Get to feel it. Practice the practices and meditations and breathings that bring you into that as much as you possibly can. And let it be a, a, a fundamental part of your day at different times during the day, even if only for a few minutes. A few minutes breathing, settling, connection, to feel that and then progressively come from that place. And then you will find it's there for you more and more and more during life. And as, you, as you're settling into that, an authentic beingness of the soul is gonna be coming through more strongly and more often. And, you, and you'll be opening that out. And as soul comes through, you're gonna shape 
miracles and magic all around you because that's what it does it it is it is the master creator manifester in this shift your very own soul that's my encouragement to everybody uh, to come from core authentic deep sense of divine beingness i wish you well with that namaste <laughs>